everybody, in this short video we're going to show you guys how to install a hands growy rain head in your shower. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Karsten. And I'm Clayton. And we're the Plumbing Gurus. And on this channel we're going to be trying to teach you how to do the proper plumbing practices. We've both been plumbing since 2004, so I hope we can teach you a thing or two. That's right. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do. We'd appreciate that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Let's get in there and install this rain head. Let's do this. All right, so before we get started, we've got a few things laid out that I'll show you guys that we'll need. This is optional, but it's always nice to have a little bit of paper towel. We have two adjustable wrenches. We have an inside pipe wrench, which we'll show you guys how this works. It's a very neat tool to have for this particular job. We've got some blue Megalock uh, thread sealant, or pipe dope we call it. We have some pink Teflon tape. And of course, we have the rain head, the rain head arm, and the escutcheon. Now this rain head arm has an arrow where the water is flow. The reason why that is, is because this side here will, t will screw into the wing back. This side here screws into the rain head. And the reason for that is because if you can see the top on the, oh sorry, on the side where it screws into the rain head is flat, so it allows for a gasket to sit on here to make the seal rather than the threads making the seal. So you don't have to tighten the rain head as tight onto these threads. Just a little information there, extra information. And the escutcheon plate here has an O-ring inside, so when you slide this through the shower arm, just like this, you kind of have to spin it at the same time, it actually will stay there. So you don't need a set screw or you don't need silicone to hold the discussion up into place. Very nice system. Okay guys, so in this situation I already have a rain head here, so I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to take my adjustable wrench, put it around this part, make sure it's nice and snug, just loosen it off. You want to hold on to it so you don't drop it and then just do it by hand and put your hand underneath. You don't want to drop it. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're going to use our fancy inside pipe wrench. Just put it inside, uh, spin it to the left because we're loosening. Put on our adjustable wrench, spin to the left to undo it. I don't like to go all the way. Same thing with the shower head. You get to a point where you can kind of just do it by hand, so you don't drop it. That's how you remove it. So what I like to do is do some little bit of prep work, put this stuff together in Teflon. It's just easier for us to show you the best way to do this right in front of you. Uh, in this case, Clayton had mentioned that there is a flat end. This is where the shower head is going to go up to, and then this is just more of the part that goes inside the wall. So we put this escutcheon plate on before we put our Teflon on so that it doesn't rip the Teflon off. And then when we're putting our Teflon on, we like to do two, to, two and a half to three wraps max. So we go one, two, three. And you want to be wrapping it clockwise so that when you go to tighten it, it doesn't, the, the Teflon doesn't come off. <clears throat> and then sometimes I, when I do the, the Teflon on this end, I do it nice and close to the end. I'll only do like two wraps there. And then when we do go to uh, install the shower head, whatever's left showing, we like to cut it off so it, it looks nice and pretty at the end. So then we'll put a little bit of dope only on the one end. The end that is going up into the wall just helps assure that we don't have any leaks because you can't always necessarily see those as easy. So let's go put this inside the, the wall. So now you just you just slide this halfway down. Look at where my hole is. Put it in kind of hand tight. It's nice. And 
we'll slide this guy in again. This time we'll turn it to the right for tightening. Tighten up our crescent wrench. Always holding on to it so you don't drop this guy on your acrylic base or if you have a tile, you might chip a tile. Alright, so before we put this shower head onto the, the nipple coming out of the wall, we just want to make sure we put this gasket in here to stop any chances of leaks. And what I like to do is just, again, hold, holding my hand underneath while I spin it. So in case you do drop it, your hand is there to stop it. Just get it kind of hand tight there. Grab your crescent wrench. Make sure it's snug. And these don't need to be super tight. Kind of wait for them to get snug. And then if you go too tight, you can pinch the gasket and then that might create a leak. You're better off kind of snugging it, testing it, making sure there's no leaks. If there is a leak, then you tighten it more after. Okay, so now we're just going to check for leaks. Whoa! That's a nice rain head. So, on this rain dance, it's got two settings. That's one, and that's the other. Where you're going to check the leaks is obviously just where you put the threads in. Make sure there's no water, dry, good to go. Alright everyone, hope you all enjoyed our video on how to install a rain head in your shower. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And uh, comment below. And uh, just, uh, just thanks again for watching our video. We appreciate that. Kirsten? Yeah, thanks, Clayton. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a link in the description below for any of the stuff we've used. So the rain head, the, the extension arm, the tools. Again, link in the description below. Check it out. Yeah. And again, we really thank you for watching. And we're going to see you in the next one. See you on the next one, guys.